Have you ever imagined what it would be like if SpongeBob SquarePants wasn't a square sponge? The name Square is a big part of SpongeBob, as he is exactly the square pants. But what few people know is that when the late Steven Hillenburg created the first comic strips of SpongeBob, he looked much more like a real sea sponge. And perhaps you don't know, but sea sponges are not square. They are mostly more rounded, just like SpongeBob used to be, and his father still is. But after presenting the idea for the new show to Nickelodeon executives, some changes were requested, including changing the shape of the main character to resemble a kitchen sponge, which would help children identify with the character. So Stephen created an initial sketch that was approved and later refined to become the most beloved sea sponge in history. Pretty cool, right? This was just the first character we've got for you today that would be completely different from what we know. Spider-Man Spider-Man is one of the most beloved superheroes of all time. It's hard to find someone who enjoys cartoons and doesn't like the adventures of the web-slinger. Part of this is due to the fact that Stan Lee thought of a really different kind of hero, one who would be full of problems, including financial ones, totally opposite to Bruce Wayne, who was a billionaire. So the first idea that came to the late Stan Lee's mind was to create a hero called the Amazing Fly Man. But then he realized that the Fly Man wasn't that amazing, so he changed it to, guess what? The Mosquito Man. <laughs> but even then, the name wasn't pleasing to the greatest creative mind in Marvel's history. So he finally came up with the name Spider-Man, which he really liked, and it stuck. So much so that he is still by far the hero with the most solo movies ever produced in the history of cinema. A gold mine that the Fly Man or the Mosquito Man would never be. But the Fly Man actually came to life later on and even had the audacity to appear in a Spider-Man comic. But no one remembers him anymore. Poor forgotten hero. <laughs> Beast, Beauty and the Beast. Going a little deeper into Disney's classic princess universe, let's talk about an emblematic and very interesting case, Beauty and the Beast. The 1991 film was a tremendous success, but it gave the production team a lot of trouble, especially when it came to choosing the perfect look for the Beast in the movie. So, in the beginning, several designs were created, some of them portraying the prince as a kind of werewolf and others giving him a somewhat leonine aspect. But in the end, they chose the furry version with horns that became part of this historic film, bringing to the screen Disney's fifth princess. And that iconic dance scene between Belle and the Beast is now part of popular culture. Shrek. Leaving Disney and heading to DreamWorks, we have to talk about the character who completely changed the world of animations, officially starting the era of poking fun at classic fairy tales, Shrek. But many people still don't know that the friendly ogre we know in the kingdom of far, far away would have had a much more ogre-like appearance, surprisingly enough. <laughs> His design would have included crooked and rotten teeth, closer set eyes, and a smaller head on top. In addition, the green ogre would have had gigantic feet, highlighted by his dance steps. I don't know about you, but I can't imagine Shrek with a different look than the one he has today. Can you? Ian. Onward. Ian is one of the elf protagonists in the Disney Pixar 2020 film Onward. What few people know is that Ian, the insecure elf seeking guidance from his father, whom he hardly knew because he passed away before Ian could understand the world, was originally supposed to be completely different. Pixar's initial idea was for Ian to be more like Legolas from Lord of the Rings, which means he would have had blonde hair, and his skin wouldn't have had the bluish tone that matches his hair. Ian would have been completely different from what we see in the magical and adventurous Disney movie. Laurel. Onward. Still talking about Onward, Ian wasn't the only character who would have been completely different initially. That's because Laurel, his loving mother, was also supposed to have a completely different design, which would have also matched the alternate version of Ian. In other words, she would have had blonde hair and it would have been long, quite different from the version we saw in the released film with short blue hair. Disney really seemed eager to make blue characters, so the choice ended up being what we saw in the film, but it was originally going to be very different. Barnacle Bill Dedicated SpongeBob SquarePants fans know that we're now talking about the legendary and loyal sidekick of Mermaid Man. But what many of these fans don't know is that initially, the idea was for Barnacle Boy to be named Barnacle Bill. This character would have been a sailor who had a wooden trunk instead of a body due to an inexplicable maritime accident. Furthermore, the first prototype of Barnacle Boy would have had some mental issues caused by wooden worms eating part of his wooden brain. <laughs> these bizarre details were some of the reasons why Barnacle Bill was removed from the SpongeBob SquarePants show and replaced by the legendary Barnacle Boy. Nevertheless, the character did appear in issues 55 and 56 of the SpongeBob SquarePants comic book, playing a significant role in the stories of these two publications. If you've made it this far, you definitely enjoy high-quality animated films and series just like us. So, to prove it, comment down below hashtag Bill to confuse those who jump straight to the comments without understanding a thing. <laughs> Dracula, Hotel Transylvania 
Not only Pixar and DreamWorks contribute to the world of animations, right? Sony is here to prove that's true, and well before helping to launch the Super Mario Bros. movie. That's because over 10 years ago, the company released the first film in the successful Hotel Transylvania franchise, where we see various monsters at their vacation resort in Count Dracula's mansion. The detail is that before the film was released, many, many ideas were created so that one of them could be chosen to represent the greatest vampire of all. There were versions where Count Dracula had long hair, almost like heavy metal style. Another version depicted Dracula as grayer and with a look that would suit a gentleman of several hundred years. There were even versions with Count Dracula having a mustache in a classy style. The fact is, many ideas were created for Count Dracula, but the chosen one was one of the simplest and coolest, the one we see in the Hotel Transylvania movies. Mavis Hotel Transylvania A bit less than her father, but the Mavis we see in the movie Hotel Transylvania was not the first choice for the character. Because before we saw the 118-year-old young vampire with that super cool, slightly gothic style, a design was created where Mavis would have slightly longer, platinum blonde hair and wear a dark headband. But in the end, they went with the style where Mavis had black short hair and blue eyes, which turned out really cool. May Lee Turning Red the idea of turning red was always that Mei Li would transform into a big red panda over the course of the film. But the idea of what the panda would look like is another story. That's why several prototypes and possible ideas were created to serve as options for representing the literally animal version of Mei Li in the Disney movie. For example, one of them had Mei Li turning into a sort of clownish version of a red panda, complete with makeup and circus attire. In another design, Mei Li's red panda version had tribal-like drawings along her body. Honestly, it would have looked pretty weird, like a giant red panda mixed with Maui from Moana. <laughs> Moana! Speaking of Disney's Pacific Ocean princess, did you know that she was initially supposed to be very different? The idea was for the princess of the Montanui people to be just a girl between 12 and 14 years old, so she would have been much smaller and thinner. But that would have made it quite unrealistic for her to learn to navigate the Pacific Ocean on her own, so she was redesigned to be older and stronger. But even then, there were several options, some of them with Moana having a green headband and slightly darker skin as well. But you'd be mistaken if you thought the only character in Moana who would have been completely different was the protagonist. That's because another main character was also supposed to be different. Maui! Yes, the Polynesian demigod would have had a slightly different design than what we saw in the theaters. That's because the original idea was always to create a character inspired by actor Dwayne Johnson. And, as you surely noticed, the actor doesn't have much hair. <laughs> So the initial designs of the demigod followed suit, and we would have had a character with a much smoother head. But the end result was not very pleasant for the audience at a test event, so the character was redesigned, keeping the muscular body and tribal tattoos, but this time with long locks on his head. Still, it took a while to choose the best option, as many good designs were created for Maui, but in the end, the chosen one was the one we saw in the movie, and it looked great. Frankenstein, Hotel Transylvania. Returning to talk about the excellent Hotel Transylvania films, another fun character from the movie was also supposed to be completely different. One of Count Dracula's best friends, Frankie, would have had a slightly different design with a smaller and flatter head, a much less bulky body, thinner legs, and of course, the good old high shoes in true Frankenstein style. But honestly, as cool as it may have looked, I prefer the version that was chosen for the film. And you? These were the characters that would have been completely different, and you had no idea. And to keep watching great videos, we've got two options here just for you. Just choose, click, and enjoy!